In this video, I want to show you how you can secure your Elementor or in general, your forms on your website. For that example, I'll be using the Elementor Pro forms and I'll be showing you how you can connect or secure those forms via reCAPTCHA. We're going to connect it and I'll also be showing you how to remove the reCAPTCHA badge so it won't be showing up on your website and just distracting your user for that. So without further ado, let's get started. When you're in your WP Admin dashboard, head over to your pages and in your pages, I have already set it up a base basic form for that matter. So let's head over and edit it with Elementor. And right over here, I have my basic form and I have the HTML widget that I have used on another video for changing the required field prompt or a tooltip. And if you haven't seen that on my channel, you can see it right now popping up on your screen. Right over here, it's a basic form. You can see we have the name field, email and message field. So let's start adding it and we'll see a few things that we can change to do that. So the first thing that I will suggest you to do is add a new field as a new item. And then right over here under the type, let's head over and scroll down to the honeypot. That thing will prevent those robots or scammers or hackers from typing something or just hacking or sending some spam into your email account. So right over here under the label, I usually put the email label for that. One more thing to do is to add another item that I have mentioned in the beginning of this video is to add the recapture version three. So now you will see that when I'm adding it, you'll see that to use recapture version three, you need to add the API key and complete the setup process in that for elementary settings integration in recapture version three. And that exactly what we are going to be doing now. So let's exit the page or open it in a new tab. So now what we're going to do is head over to Elementor and let's go head over to settings and in the settings, let's go to integrations. And right over here, we have the recapture version three. So for that matter, I usually set the score threshold and I keep it as is 0.5. You usually don't want it above it. And let's open the recapture. You can see it under the google.com and just search for recapture in your Google search. So right over here, I have my own account. When you're in here, just click the plus icon and you'll create a new one. So right over here, what you do is add the label for your project. For my example, it would be tutorials and right over here in the recapture type, you would want to set it to score based version three in the parenthesis and in the domain, just put your own domain without the HTTPS, we're going to be removing it. So right over here, just the clean website domain. Now, the next thing that you want to do is hit the submit button. And once it's done, you'll be prompted with your copy site key and the copy secret key. So let's do that and let's copy paste it in our integration page over in our website. So let's head over and copy the site key. Let's head over back to our integration and copy the site key and paste it right over here. And the same thing would be applied to the secret key. Let's head over back to our settings and let's paste the secret key. And once you're done, just scroll to the bottom and just hit the save changes button. So let's head over back to our basic form and let's hit update and let's refresh the page. Once it's done, you'll see that the error has disappeared. And right over here, once we click the form, you'll see that the item is set to recapture three. You can set the label, but it's not necessary. But one more thing, you can see that the badge is at the bottom right and you can see it, you can set it to the bottom left or to set it to an inline. But I want to show you how you can also remove this little badge. So let's update the form. Let's open it or preview our changes in a new tab. And let's head over to our Elementor Flores tutorials. And let's head over to our appearance and then customize. I'm going right over there because it will be set up across all my website and I can customize there the CSS custom ID or the custom class of the recapture. So let's head over to additional CSS. And right over here, you can paste your CSS code. For that matter, let's head over to our basic form and just hit your right mouse button right over the recapture option. Let's hit inspect and right over in the inspect, what you want to do is just basically search for that badge. Let's scroll a little bit to the top and right over here, we have the recapture logo. But what I've seen in most cases, it won't be this. It would be this exact ID, Elementor G recapture. So what you want to do is just copy it, click your mouse, copy and let's head over to our customizer. And now let's put a dot, then paste this ID, open curly braces, and then just display and none. And that should do it. Just publish the changes and let's head over back to our basic form and let's refresh the page. And now you will see that that badge disappeared. And that would be also across all your elemental forms. And I would also recommend you to do it on all your forms 
if you have a lot of forms on your website. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my advice for you if you want to protect your website from scammers, spammers, or whatever it is. And if you like this video, feel free, or I'll be really happy to if you leave a thumbs up and feel free also to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any update on WooCommerce, Elementor, or WordPress. I'll be seeing you in the next one.